Hey guys, so I'm here back with another review, and today we're having a look at the DC Universe Classics Wave 15 figure number. Yeah, I want to say it was two. I don't know. I ain't doing them in order. Um, today we're having a look at Martian Manhunter. Now he does come with, of course, the button. They don't make one for the variant. I don't know why. And this Green Lantern trying to butt in. Looks like Martian Manhunter is like, get out of here. <laughs> um. But yeah, Martian Manhunter, of course, uh, one of the original seven members of the Justice League, I'm uh, pretty sure. Um, he came with the lower torso and head of Validus, so that is cool. Um, as a matter of fact, I have all the, of course I've completed him. I have all the figures from Wave 15 except uh, Golden Pharaoh because he came with a display stand, but I will probably eventually get him. Now, this is, of course, the alien variant of uh, Marsh Manhunter, so he's got the extended head and the little axe hand. Um, sadly, mine came out of the package a bit, uh, well, you could say f***ed up. <laughs> <clears throat> Looks like he got his ass kicked and his leg is broken. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... That's why I did mm. Why, Mattel? Why do you gotta freaking do that? I've been trying to straighten this thing out for about a couple of weeks now. Since I got it, really. And it is yet to straighten out. I'm almost tempted to do the hot water trick just so I can get it over with and have a Martian man on who can stand. I don't, I don't know why they always do that. So eventually I'll get the regular version, just so I can have one to stand, really. Uh, the axe hand is cool. I think this is a little too long. I think it should have ended around here. I don't think he needs all that. Plus it came out bent. Anyway, so, again, Mattel, quit posing your figures in the box. Uh, oh yeah, you don't do these anymore, so it doesn't matter. Um, and he also has the extended head, which... That's cool. I like the red eyes. The red eyes are really vibrant on this guy. Uh, but it took me probably five minutes to get this doofus to stand up just because it's stupid like... Yeah, there it, there it is. Um, yeah, I, I hate that. God. Half of the figures of this wave I got... Well, this one and Gem, anyway, they came out warped. And then one of Validus's ankle rockers is stuck, so that's just lovely. Quality control with Mattel is, like, not there. You know, my Bane's ab crunch is stuck. Necron's legs were bent. Those got fixed, though. Um, Validus's foot stuck. You know, it sucks, you know? But articulation on Martian Manhunter, I guess we'll start there. Uh, he's got a up and down movement in the head. Move side to side. The cape doesn't hinder it. Oh, the cape is warped, too, that I mentioned. <laughs> Again, with the posing. Um, he's got standard DCUC shoulder joints, so they move in and out, forward and back. He's got a bicep swivel, hinge in the elbow, swivel in the wrist. Pretty good there. Uh, this red strapping, the red straps across his chest, that's a separate piece, so that's cool. He's got a good ab crunch, he bends that far forward and that far back. His cape is is a little bit soft, lighter of a rubber than a Batman, so you can flex it. That's also why it's got that there. You shove the cape through a hole, and I uh, can't seem to warp it back into place. So, again, why? <laughs> I got the most effed up Martian Manhunter on YouTube, probably. Uh, he's got a swivel in the waist. The belt is a separate piece, so that's a nice touch. He's got a standard DCUC hip joints. They move in and out, up and down. Swivel in the thigh, hinge, knee, swivel in the boot, surprisingly, and a hinge feet. Hinge at the foot there. Uh, I don't know if I call this a knee or a foot. <laughs> but he does have the knee joint. But us standing him up as best as we can. Okay, why didn't he just do that earlier when I was spending like forever trying to pose him? I don't I don't know. <clears throat> and the next figure we'll be reviewing is Jim. 
who could have also been, maybe he was three or two, but they're around the same size because they're both aliens. James Dune is creepy. <laughs> Salad fingers crap. Yeah, that's, uh, in a nutshell, that's Martian Manhunter for you. Uh, I'd say probably get the regular one, and if you're really set on that figure, get this one, but be ready to boil one of his knees. So, yeah, that's all i got to say for this guy, so I'm going to give him an 8. <clears throat> Just because this time the quality control is really, really bad. And that knee... <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, that that's really the one thing. And he could have also maybe... I don't know, that's really it. That one quality control there really does it for me. Plus he's kind of a... He could have used a little shading, maybe. I mean, Batman, he was a... He was a buttload. He got the cape, he got the new lower arms, he got the head, he got the construct. He had a little bit more going on. This guy, not as much. I like the axe hand, but that came out warped too, so... Kind of saving grace was even killed. But he would have made it a 9 easy, probably if it was a regular version. I, I'm going to see if I can find the all-star, but yeah, whatever. So I'd say pick him up if you like the regular version. If you didn't like the regular version, then probably pass. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.